Hey guys, it's Chrysler. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to give you an update on the IUD and I figured that I would just do this vlog style since I don't think this needs to be a stuffy video with me sitting down and setting all my lights up. So I'm just going to talk briefly about a couple of things and there's really not too much to update you guys on not much has changed. If you watched the previous one, I believe that was the one where I talked about sex <laughs> and that was a little awkward but that is still an issue like some positions are uncomfortable and I did do research and I'm not the only one so it's definitely a thing and it's unfortunate but I decided to keep it in and just deal with it because like I said I don't want to go back on birth control like hormones or anything and it's just the simplest way for me to deal with this whole problem. The next thing I want to touch on is periods. So the last couple of periods have been better than previously. Before I would have about two days of really bad cramps and that was really sucky especially if I was at work it was just not fun but the past couple of months have been fine. I actually started my period yesterday and I was at work and there was some cramping but nothing that I couldn't handle like before it would be really bad where I would just want to crouch on the floor so that stopped which is awesome I'm really happy about that but there is like a slight ringing twisting feeling in my groin which is normal cramping like I can deal with that nothing to the point where I want to take medicine which I don't take medicine so that's what I consider to be really bad I do want to mention that my cycles were extending for a couple of months and then they kind of went back to normal. I do use the Clue app and no, this video is not sponsored. They only sponsor people with a lot of subscribers. I've been using it for a while, I think a couple of months after I got the IUD, so almost a year. But I'm here to tell you that I've been using it and I really like it and you can track things on there if you want, but I just really use it to know when I'm going to get my period and it was spot on yesterday. So that was really cool. Also, my face is always lighter than my neck because that's the way it is, so don't know. The strings that I have have softened. I did read that people would kind of twirl the strings up there, like around their cervix, and I did not do that. I should have done that a long time ago so they got trained, but I did end up doing that, so hopefully it stays like up there. And the reason why I did it is that I use a cup, like a menstrual cup. I was using the Lily Cup Compact. I loved it because it was good for travel, obviously, but when you're putting it in there, it can compact like it folds down this way so when you're putting it up there it was kind of difficult for me to make sure it was open all the way so I got the blossom cup I think from Amazon it's the same shape as the diva cup but it is slightly softer and I do like it I've been using that for two cycles now this is my second cycle and I got some lube which definitely helps with putting it up there because before it was so difficult to get it in there and now it is just so much easier so I definitely recommend doing that if you're going to use a magical cup because it saved my life I don't know why I didn't do this a long time ago oh my god I would get so anxious putting in the cup because of how uncomfortable it is like to the point where I don't know like something my chest would get really heavy so if you have kind of like a weird thing with putting your cup in sometimes, I was never like this until recently. Maybe because of the IUD strings and I'm a little paranoid. I don't know why Amazon doesn't recommend you getting some type of personal lubricant when you're ordering your cup like it does with the wash because I think these things go hand in hand. So if you're having a problem with the cup, I definitely recommend doing that. So that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry it was a little bit late and please like the video if you enjoyed it thought it was helpful and leave any comments below if you have any questions um, or concerns and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!